The CBS 6 problem solvers are working for you as we continue to follow the problems plaguing the Virginia Employment Commission. After giving out hundreds of millions of dollars in mistaken payments, a new fraud prevention system was put in place. But scammers have already found a way in to steal your identity. At 5, our Brendan King explained how the new scheme works. New at 6, he's back to tell us about the immediate steps you need to take if you become a victim. Brendan? That's right, Bill and Candace. So much of our lives these days are ending up online, and that includes applying for jobs. But this scam starts with a promising new job opportunity and ends with stolen identities. Our research shows that there's over 18,000 of these fake job listings. 18,000 chances to steal your identity. We stop fraud. We catch bad people. Haywood Talcov leads a team of cybersecurity experts at LexisNexis Risk Solutions, and for months, they've tracked fraud targeting the Virginia Employment Commission. The state of Virginia lost about $1.9 billion to these fraud groups. It all starts with a fake job posting online. The con artist poses as a hiring manager, and after filling out their application and a virtual interview, they'll send you a link to the federally certified ID.me website that the VEC uses to verify identities. To verify your identity, you unwillingly grant the scammer permission to access your information as the overseas scammers apply for unemployment benefits in your name. This is a huge issue. U.S. Senator Mark Warner works to pass legislation requiring state agencies like the VEC to report suspected fraud to the Department of Homeland Security. That's got to start with an obligation to report. And uh, I, I, I'm very confident that we will see this at least first step to make sure that the VECs and the others report these cyber incidents so that law enforcement and cybersecurity professionals across state governments and, and federal governments can actually act to prevent this. If you're a victim of identity theft, call local law enforcement and the IRS to report the crime. The third thing you're going to need to do is notify the credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and get a freeze on your credit. And if you suspect a job listing online is, well, suspect, you're urged to contact that company's HR department directly. And I just did hear back from the VEC. They told me in a statement that they are actively working to recover these funds in partnership with the Attorney General's office.